Welcome to our final Die to Try launch party of the year. Stay tuned to see what we're breaking out to end the year. Welcome to today's launch party. I'm Lynn Gibney, Chief Brand and Product Officer, and I'm joined here by your hosts for the show, Pam and Erica. Yay, we're wow. excited to be here in December. Yes. yes, indeed. So I can't believe that we've just got one, we've got a whole nother year of Die to Try dyes under our belt. I know. Amazing. And they have been such great dyes. Yes. In fact, many of them have joined our permanent dye collection because all of you viewers loved them as much as we do. That's right. Our Die to Try series die gives, dyes gives us a chance to test the quilting waters with new and innovative dyes. We release a limited number of them on the first Tuesday of every month, and those dyes are only available for one month or while supplies last. And we had quite a few that sold out this year. We did, yes. yeah, yeah, it was great. And you can only get those from AccuQuilt.com or our great retail stores. That's right. Now today we're going to be joined by experts Tammy White and Barbara Harper and we're excited to see what they've got in store for us with this dye as well. All right, so this is going to be such a fun show today, right? We've got great prizes, easy and creative project ideas, and an inspirational trunk show. I'm going to go check on our experts and I'll be back a little later with some beautiful samples to share with everyone. So have a great show. All right, thanks Lynn. It. All right, I think we've left everyone hanging in suspense long enough. Let's check out our new die. Mixing and matching isn't just for Go Cube sets. With the Go Fractured Tumbler three inch finish die, there are so many unique block designs you can create. This block on board or bob die fits in any Go fabric cutter to make a three inch finished unit or a six inch finished block. There are two sets of shapes on the die board that can be used to create a variety of block designs, such as wonky checkerboards and stained glass motifs. This fun bob can be paired alongside compatible Go cube blocks and other six inch finished bobs to make prismatic wall hangings, modern oven mitts, and more. Creativity is easy to embrace with this die because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Okay, do oh, you love this new die? I love this new die. I love the fact that it is perfect for scraps. It is. And it makes tiny little three inch blocks, but you can make them to six you inch blocks. Think, you say tiny little, I don't think of three inch blocks as being no. tiny. Well, and I love the fact that we can put them together to make six inch blocks. There you go. Shall we talk about it? Yes, because we've got a lot of ground to cover. So let's jump in, start with the die board, and then we're gonna get into ways you can use it. Okay. Now, this is the die that it comes, this is the fractured tumbler, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> really think about what I'm saying here. Okay, it's the month of December. We're all a little stressed. Let's focus here, let's Pam. Let's focus, let's focus. Okay, so this die only has two shapes. A, which are these half tumbler units. Yes. And B, which are quarter tumbler units. Right. And we're gonna show you some super cool ways of cutting and putting them and mixing and matching them. Yes. But the great thing you have to remember, it's on a six by 12 die board. It's gonna fit through all of our cutters, including that Go Me. Right. You can always cut six layers of cotton, but you could do flannel, felt, denim, wool, start with one or two of those yes. layers. And we have uh, giving you really great specialized dog ears. But Erica, there is really one thing that is super important about this die. Place your fabric right sides up. Right. So to subcut your fabric, we've done some here. Uh, we just measured from here to here. Yes. At a quarter of an inch on either side. And look, all of the fabric is going to face up. If you fan fold your fabric, half your pieces will be backwards. Yeah, you don't think you they will, will be, be but they are. Now, the exception to that would be if you had some kind of specialized look you were creating. So keep that in mind, but or solids, these may be I guess, the, right? 
Yes, or solids. And I did throw a couple of solids on there. We're gonna have some playtime with these shapes. We are, we are loving this die. Okay, oh, we probably need a mat. Nothing happens without a mat. Six by 12 cutting mat. Switch these, I think you had the wrong pieces. There's a quarter inch difference between the prep size. There you go. There, I like that better. Whatever being she a pain needs to make it together. I'm being a okay, pain. Okay, so Erica, this was really oh, fun when we can't were. Can't see the trunk show yet. Oh goodness. Goodness. Here, wait. Hold, please. Hold, please. Here, hand those to me. Okay. We'll put them back. We'll, the we'll put them over not. here for the Gibney. We'll put them back. We'll be stealthy later. <laughs> Well, we don't want you getting away with seeing all the good stuff now. No, you just want to just wait for it. All righty, here we go. So we're going to give it a little love. We're going to slide, not lift, because okay. we want to keep our piece, track of our pieces, okay? Oh my, yes. Okay. It's just going to make it a little easier for us to play, have play time. Okay. So let's start here. You can make blocks with just B shapes. Okay. Okay, so here, hold please. Okay. Am I in trouble, Kenyon? Okay. No, he says as he moves them. I'm making A shapes, you're making B shapes. I am, and notice I'm keeping these the right direction. Okay, so that when I lay them out, they're gonna work together. Okay. Um, the thing that I what found most do? fun mm -hmm. about this die was when you put it, when you lay out the pieces like this in your quilting head, yes. we're gonna think this is not gonna work. Right, right, you are. But the reality is I'm gonna put these right sides together and look, We've cut off the dog ears and specialized the corners. So this is gonna to come together as a perfect seam. Right. And this is gonna come as a perfect seam. I'm gonna press in opposite directions and then my block is gonna lay flat. So the nice thing about it, it is makes a three inch finished block. And we're gonna talk about other blocks that go with it and other dies that go mm -hmm. with it. But I think it's so fun to think that you can make blocks that are just four, the small B's, you can make blocks that are just the A's, and they right. all kind of work together. Or, yeah, you can mix them up. I just think it's so it's much fun. It's just super fun. It's just yeah. super fun. All right, now this die is all about creativity. You can do so many fun looks with the simple shapes, but color is really gonna be key here. So we, as we, you can see, we're gonna lay out lots of different color combinations. Mm -hmm. But here's what I have also learned um, as I put in these blocks together. Yes. You really do want like a solid every now and then. Right, you, you because, need that solid or a tone on tone, something right. you wanna give your eye a place to rest. Now I've got some, because we, I didn't do, so here's one that's two prints. Oh yeah, but, but see, that works. this one is a tone on tone, so it works. Right. When you get into something, here's a, here's a busier one. Okay, this is a little bit busier. This starts to look a little, a little hectic maybe for some quilters. But remember, we could also do this to change it out. Right. And then it has a whole different feel by adding that solid white on the side, right. right? Or you could do like I'm doing here and do like yellow in the middle, or mm -hmm. you could make them mm -hmm. kind of variegated like that. You can, and you could alternate how your rows were going. Oh, yes. So you could do rows alternate directions. Yeah. And then we get into creating all kinds of different looks. Okay, I like it. All right. But we have experts. We do, we do. <laughs> okay. And we've got lots of inspiration coming your way. 
Those two experts, again, Tammy White and Barbara Harper, are going to share their insights into fun ways to work with this dye, because we know they're going to think of things that we didn't right Oh, now. for sure. So many of them. All right. First off, we have Tammy. Tammy White is an experienced quilter whose love of quilting started 40 years ago when she made her first quilt for her baby daughter. Tammy has used the AccuQuilt system since 2009, and she loves making memory quilts. Her corporate career as a cost engineer has taken her into many different American cultures all over our country. Next, we have Barbara Harper. Now, Barbara is a quilter, a seamstress, and a teacher. She's a great teacher who's made hundreds of quilts and has owned her AccuQuilt Go for 10 years. Have you made hundreds of quilts? No. I don't think I've made hundreds. Okay, she credits much of her award-winning success to the accurate cuts her system provides. Barbara began sewing as a child with her grandmother and enjoys creating quilts for special people in her life. And again, I cannot wait to see what they both have. That's so right. Tammy, let's get this party started. Well, hello ladies, it's great to be here today. Thanks for letting me play with this new fractured tumbler die. I like it. Um, I The thing I like the most about it is there's two blocks in one, so that's always a bonus, right? Um, but you know, there's some challenges to this little block here. I always take it out and study the board and I realize, well, here's A blocks, these make one block, and then your B's make another block. There's those four squares on this one and two on this one. So, hey, mix and match, that's always really nice. So I start playing around with my um, fabrics and cutting out the pieces. So the first one I did is I cut out the A blocks, and these are the just the split tumblers, which make a small three inch finish block. So I made a whole bunch of these and I used a five inch charm pack to make placemats. So real quick and easy project. However, if I wanted to keep going on this and making it a little bit longer, I could always get out my burp cloth and use some children's fabric or some real fun um, bright fabrics to make the back side of a burp cloth. You could do the same thing with uh, Christmas fabric or any kind of holiday fabric and use your oven mitts or your Christmas stocking and put to use those big dies. So that is, that, that's definitely on the list of things to do this holiday. So then I started playing with the B, the B side of it and I did my, um, I made some B's and I put them together and it creates this little wave, you know? So I'm thinking, hey, that's pretty cool. So I got me a piece of focus fabric, and so I can pair up this with just a, a big piece of six and a half inch square focus fabric and um, come up with some creative ideas there. Or this happens to be the snowball. So I pulled all the colors out of the snowball and paired it up with this so I could do the same, just do a big patchwork of six and a half inch square, and that would be fun too. Then, gosh, you know, I always have to make me these boards. So this one was particularly interesting to work with because if you cut them all up, you're, all your pieces go one direction. If you go fan fold, then they go in separate directions. So I fan folded, taped them down. I can stack all my fabric onto these pieces, sew them in the right direction so I know what I'm gonna get. And then this is my finished look here. So I can stack them when I'm done and I don't have to go back and sew out or rip out any seams when I'm done. So I have my guidelines here. So when I did that, I thought, oh, you know what? That'd make a great American flag. So I made me an American flag to go into my sunroom. And I love the look of the waves of the red fabric and the little blue stars. I used piece A here to make the blue stars. So I have another idea for my final project. And I'll be back with you in just a little bit to show you that one. Okay, two things. Yes. I love the burp cloth idea. You I do too. I Monday. do have a baby coming. If she's some. not here by Monday, she's coming Monday. You could just be making burp cloths for that. Yes. Place. And then I like the idea of the flag with yes. the stars. They kind of look different, yes, right? Yes, they did. They did. I like how she did oh, that. That was super cool. Lots of great ideas. Lots of nuggets in there. And combining it with other six inch blocks, whether yes. that's just a solid which I right. really liked how the she focus. did that with the focus fabric or with another with bob dye. Mm -hmm. So cool. Okay, well, with all these ideas floating around, I think we'd better give away a oh, fractured tumbler dye to a lucky viewer who's registered for our shows. All right, great idea. The lucky winner of a Go Fractured Tumbler dye is, drum roll please. Oh, we have Jingle, Jingle Bells. Jingle 
Dallas. Uh, Patty C. from the Dallas, Oregon. It does not take much to get us no, out. We are easily entertained. We I know, are. We're starting to have a little bit of Christmas. It's, it's sneaking on the in. Set. I think there'll be more next week. Soon right? we will get to wear Santa hats. And speaking yes. of Christmas, we just want to give a shout out to our good friend uh, Jackie, who sent us the most delicious. Uh, oh. Almond Roca from my home of Seattle yes, um, as did. a little Christmas present for us and the team. Thanks, Jackie. Thank we appreciate you, Jackie. it. All right. Now, as always, those experts, they are so smart. They have such so great ideas. Smart. Yes. Okay. So I love that she talked about the burp cloth, but I think we could look at other project dyes for that too. Mm -hmm. The oven mitt, the stocking, that'd right. be great for the ghost stocking dye this right. time of year. Great scrap buster, like we said before. Right. And I make stockings, you know, we always make them for Christmas, but I make them in the spring to put in like little Easter eggs with candies and stuff. And we deliver them to our neighbors because they're so cute. They're, well, they're, they're, you know, most of them are shut ins. And right. so, you know, rather than a basket, we right. just give you them just... this little soft. Easter, egg. Easter stocking. Easter stocking. So think about. So that'd be really fun with like spring. It would fabric. be. It would be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And don't forget bowl cozies. Oh okay. yeah. We talked about this last week. We did. Do you not at your house need a whole new stack of yeah. bowl cozies? Yes, I do. I was. We talked about it last week, and then I went home and put something in the uh, in the microwave, and yes. I thought, we yeah, had the we need really new, need. Yeah. We need some new bowl cozies. So we think about too. that. Or it can also, I can see using fabric with our Go Box bag dye bar, good oh, friend Carolina Moore. Yes, for sure. She bag. also put a charm pack to using making this a placement, and that was super yes. clever. Because how many of you, raise your hand, have charm packs laying around that you need to put to good use? Yes. 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 Even Brock says, Even he's, Brock got says charm, he's got charm some packs. charm packs. All right. Well, I like the, we mentioned it before, but I really did like how she did that flag. Yes, and, and how she had the different looks for the stripes and for the stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really fun. Okay. Um, the important part of using this die is mix, mixing and matching those shapes. And really, what you have to do is just cut some and play with them. I think. I think so. Now, in my quilting head, I can think of one great way to use this die that we haven't touched on. Have you? Thought about um, that? How about as a the perfect mate for our Full size. Oh, here. I'm going to hold it up. Three inch tumbler. So here's okay, the die. We don't have one here in the studio. I looked for here's it this morning. Here's the packaging. There we go. Here's the packaging. So it actually has three yes. three inch tumblers, which is yes. super cool. And quilters, notice right here, this is the lengthwise green. Right. Don't forget that it's going to show you on the packaging. Yep. And so typically when you make this project, ooh, like here in the back, you're gonna come here and you're gonna cut off, thanks Greg, you're gonna cut off the edge um, so that you get a straight edge rather right. than the tumbler so edge. So you'd cut but off, look. you'd cut off this part. And that always makes me hurt yeah. just a little bit. Yeah, you would cut right here so it would be straight. And then you've wasted half a tumbler. Right, and I and hate guess that. guess what, we have half tumblers. We have half tumblers now. So this is a great use for that. So don't overlook mm -hmm. using that too. So all of you who have the three inch tumbler die, this, get this die, because now yes. you have half tumblers. You know what, and, and this three inch tumbler and these, they would also be great for mini tree skirts. So like if we were to make tree skirts for our little trees here, yes. they'd be just the right size. Okay, and think of this. You don't always have to have that half tumbler be No, it could solid. be fractured. It could be, it fractured, could be fractured like that. That's the name. That's the name. It's amazing. I like this idea. Yes. Okay. All right. So this is the perfect solution as far as I'm figuring yeah. out. And I think that we've probably just scratched the surface, but I loved it when Tammy started mixing and matching with other blocks. And we mentioned that kind of four patch kind of thing. So yep. Don't don't get hooked up on, oh my gosh, it's just three inches. Because when you put four, think of them as three inch units. They're going to go together, yeah. put four of them together, you've got a six inch block. Yep, you do. And this is great because you've used the A's and the B's. Right. Which I think is exciting. Okay, now that Tammy has just boggled our minds. I know it. I I'm know super it. excited to see what Barbara has dreamed up. Oh, Barbara, what have you come up with? Hi Erica, hi Pam. I've been having so much fun with this fractured tumbler. I can bust up so many little pieces of fabric to make designs. 
It's like getting two bobs on one board. Shapes uh, A makes some unique designs. Shape B kind of makes that twisted block design. Let me show you what I've made. The first thing I did was take the existing tumbler pattern from Go Quilt, and I replaced the tumbler pieces with my fractured tumbler. Gives a lot of motion in my quilt. I've got a lot of different uh, rich blues in here that you probably can't tell on camera. So, first I started with shape A alone, and I came up with a block that looks like this. Kind of looks like diamonds. Then, with just shape B, I came up with this, kind of that twisted block design. Kind of makes a wreath. I'm gonna hang this on my door for Christmas. Then I looked at my different bobs and I picked up what I think fits beautifully with the fractured tumbler, tumbler the six inch crazy quilt. Look at all the scraps that you can bust up. Now I use shape A there and then there's some B's and it all flows together. You could use all shape A's and make a smaller little flower block. Or what about putting some appliques to just spice it up just a little bit. So crazy quilt, six inch crazy quilt is a must to go with this tumbler. Then I moved on and I just used some shape A's to make a frame. In here you have a six inch block and I put the Aldi applique. A lot of appliques uh, will fit right there in that block. Then I moved on to my cubes. I found you could use every cube there is to go with it. This is made with the four inch cube. Yes, four inch cube can make six inch blocks. These are from um, the angles. I've got the kite shape here and then the diamond in square. And then it just makes a fabulous border using shape A from the new fractured tumbler. One more here for you. I tried some striped fabric, of course, and I came up with this flower design, and um, I used my 12-inch cube for this one. You can see that there is a flying geese, and I have a chisel, I have a square, and then a half-square triangle. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun mixing my fractured tumbler die with my cubes, with my bobs, but for now, I'm gonna go create a project. I'll be back in a little bit. Barbara, please take the black block, block with the four inch cube yes. that makes a six inch block and then the outside. Please make 12 of those <laughs> for me and all of them the same except for one and then change the color like to hot pink or green or purple for one and just mail me all those blocks. <laughs> Thank you. That was, I love that one. The one with, okay. I thought she had me with the raccoon, right? Oh, the raccoon one was super cute. Because six inches is a great size mm -hmm. for, to frame out a lot of our oh, embroidery. You could do penguins and flamingos. Oh gosh, so many. Uh, you could gingerbread make. Gingerbread cookies, it's that time of year. And I like the side because like you could do penguins and make blue and it would look like ice Oh, yes. Right? Oh. All right. And then she, I, she really had me at that one. Yeah. And then, and then the other one. Because we talk about this all the time, how our cubes make blocks that are different sizes. Right. Like the four inch cube makes four inch blocks all day long, but it can also make a six inch block and an eight inch block and a 10 inch block. And how cute are those Gosh. little four inch kites? Gosh. Because they're two inch, oh my god! But gosh. when Barbara makes me 12 and sends them to me. <laughs> I will show you that. You'll show me, but you're not gonna give them to me. No, not at all, mm -hmm. not at all. Okay, what else do, oh, she did a flag. Yes, they Completely both did flag. Different flag. Yes, but Completely they did them different. very differently. And so that really is giving us the pairing of how versatile this die is. Yeah. All the different looks that you can get it. So on that note, oh, our experts are, I'm just thinking about stuff to make. Oh, While our experts with the finishing time. touches on their final projects, we want to know, quilters, what do you see pairing with the new Go Fractured Tumbler die? Now remember, it makes units of three inches. Right. It makes blocks that are six inches. Right. But three is, you could make six inch blocks or nine inch blocks or right. 12 inch blocks. Right. There's so many things you could do. Let us know in the comments section wherever you stream our show. Meanwhile, Pam will be sitting here coming up with ideas and, and going, ah. 
But think about this. Okay, before we go, <laughs> think about this. Think about this. What size does Carpenter Wheel make? 18. Yeah. And Carpenter's Wheel High is kind of that 3D oh, look. Oh, yeah. So you could make. Kind of mimic a 3D yeah. look. Oh, okay. Well, okay. okay. Just so, let us know in the comments so section. So let's, let's get back on track here. And there I want to talk about some of Barbara's ideas because she had some mm -hmm. other awesome ideas in there. Yeah. And I just think they're, I just love the fact that they both made flags. <laughs> I know. I that right? was cute. And they were different flags. Mm -hmm. They were not yep. the same. They looked very different. So this die, obviously, packed with creative options. One thing we always talk about is how a die is going to work with others. And Barbara mm -hmm. led us right into that. Uh, Tammy did too, really. Yes. But how she did the frame, and we talked about that and expanding the concept. But she went a step further and took us into a, a bob die, which, again, had Pam going, ah. <sighs> Well, okay, so, so I imagine this, have some UFOs. Uh, imagine that. Imagine that. But I'm finishing them as we speak. So one of the UFOs that I have is this sweet little block uh, made from the Go Crazy Quilt die. Right, and that's a six inch mm -hmm. finish. It's a six inch finish that we also have a bigger one that makes a 10 inch finish. And these were just charm packs that I used. Right. Right, or layer cakes. Sorry, they were layer cakes, uh -huh. okay? So now look, here we go. So what I did was I found a little bit more of some charm packs, and then I used solids to make this block like right. Did. Ah, right. I thought that was brilliant. It is, it is. Now, and I loved it. She, I love the, the 30s reproduction fabrics. Mm -hmm. These are really sweet. Keep in mind, these are smaller pieces, so it's a great use for those smaller mm -hmm. prints. But, again, what do we always say? If your fabric is still ugly, you haven't cut oh, it small right, enough yet. Right, so right. take some of the, that big fabric and just find the corner of it with the color that you like right. and pop it in there. Well, and I like the fact that Tammy also took this same concept, but she made a block like this and then just a solid. Right. So if you if you're if you're not if you don't have that fabric anymore, you can just match it up with a solid and create these super cool We're blocks. Adding that applique, it just made such a difference in the whole super look, cute. didn't it? Now, so many things to make, so little time on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. So here's another six inch block. Oh yes. And this is kind of that twister look. And I've always been interested in those patterns, but I've never done anything with them because it seems like it would take a long time because you like sew it and then cut it apart and then oh, sew it yeah, again. And, and it, makes your it would waste hurt. fabric. And Barbara showed us how to get the same look and feel using this die. And this is just kind of a, a quick mock-up right. with that um, wreath, right? Right. And then, okay, as these sit here next to each other, mm -hmm. I'm thinking you could make a smaller one and then a bigger one. So you could use the same green fabric here oh, and make a bigger block, yes. right? Yeah, you could. And, okay, you can go back and watch because both Tammy and Barbara had such great inspiration. Right. All of our shows are recorded. They live on our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, and our website. That is so right. So it gives you a chance to look back. And then you can see the wreath because it is that time of year. That is. It is. Okay. And, oh, oh, right there, they oh, found there it. it. <laughs> Thank you, Isn't boys. Isn't that cool looking? <laughs> I just really love that. I, okay. I, it's for, on so my to-do list. because We're going to keep it up for a second so everybody can take a picture of it with their phone. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can see how it works. But wouldn't that be cute? Because then you could add, like... You could sew on little Christmas right. ornaments, or you could add a you big bow to it. You can find little buttons that are like shaped like lights and ornaments. Okay, and you know, stuff. I'm not really very good about making small projects. I like to make big stuff, I know. but I might make that. Like, I have the perfect week. place for it at my house. So. I'll make it for you, it'll be great. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it'll be great. All right, now we've talked about how great the Crazy Quilt was it, with it. Yeah. And anything, I mean, Tumblers are great for scrap busting mm -hmm. on their own, but these fractured tumblers are even better. It would be really cute as a mini quilt. I yeah. know you don't make small projects, but I don't. I don't know how many blocks you have, but if you could I have make a wall of them. Okay, so it will be a little bigger than <laughs> it will be a bigger size wall hanging. But I still, have plenty of them, but it's okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah, and this was super fun. Um, they were 
a layer cake that I bought. So, and it's been a yeah. few years, so I can't find the same fabric. But of course it's okay. not. It's okay because they're just, you know, it, it's scrappy. I, you know how okay. I love that. That's right. Okay. And that's what happens when we have UFOs that hang out there for a year or two or three or four. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else, Mr. Kenyon. See, there is oh. Barbara. And she appliqued in the center little flowers. Oh, yeah. See, that really does just make a big difference. And that would be a, the cutest little wall hanging in my office. All right, Eric. Another is row thinking. of blocks. I know. All right, quilters, don't forget, anytime you're using a die, setting it on point makes a huge difference. Yes. Thankfully, we have our setting triangle dies to make it easy to do. Basically, it gives you a simple way of turning um, any, lip, creating two looks. Yep. Right? I'm just. Turn them like this. Yeah. And nobody had to do math but AccuQuilt. That's right. <laughs> and that makes me happy. That's right. Okay. All right, after looking at even more ideas for this Gosh. die, I think we should give another one away, oh, don't you? we should. Okay. okay. Uh, the lucky viewer is Jingle Bells, please. <laughs> Carol D. of Woodbury, Minnesota. Congratulations. Congratulations. Carol. Congratulations. Do you All know right. what is missing off of our Christmas set? Our actual jingle bells. Oh. Huh. Nope. <laughs> I don't know the Brock's going to let us have those back. I think he I did, did find a whistle in the drawer the other day. Oh. I thought maybe I could do that. Hmm. Um, all right. Well, is, since we don't have jingle bells, it looks like our experts are ready to reveal you their final projects. Tammy, let's see what you brought. Hey, ladies. I'm back with my final project. I used a beautiful floral panel for my center of the quilt. And I made a fractured border using pieces B of the fractured tumbler block and pulled all the colors out of the quilt into the border. And I think it turned out quite lovely. I also used a little snowball corner on the um, end of my fracture so that it gave it some continuity. So there you have it, your fractured border. Okay, that is super cute. It looks like lace. It did look like lace. Quilters and ask us all the time about panels, don't right, they? Right, right. They always say, what should I do? I have a panel. So now you can create a fractured tumbler. And there are some really gorgeous panels there out there. They are beautiful ones. Yeah. Oh, I like that. All right, that one is going to be hard to beat. Barbara, let's see what you've come up with. Well, I'm back and I have made a twisted tumbler table runner had to tumble around my head a minute to think about what to name this. But I've used the twisted block. There's my shape A's and then there's some shape B's. It makes a 12 inch block. I used my 12 inch setting triangles and then I added flange binding. It takes a charm pack to make this so you can make it for any season of the year. And um, I hope you enjoy, it just takes an afternoon. So enjoy the twisted tumbler table runner. I'm pretty sure you have sent that to Erica. Yep. And uh, <laughs> she gets extra points because she not only made a striped binding, but a striped, striped flange, flange binding. binding. I love how our experts are so creative. They come yes. up with complete, we gave them one die. We didn't yep. tell them like there's not a theme. Well, there's a theme, but we didn't say, you know, here's the pattern, right. here's how right. it's going to go. Right. And I love the fact that Tammy used, went to her UFOs and found a, right. you know, a panel that she needed. Right. And then Barbara found some charm squares, right? And made that. I just think that that is why we have experts because that is why we they have are experts. so smart and both of them are so creative and made completely different projects. That's right. Now, don't forget, we want to know what die you see pairing with your new Go Fractured Tumbler die. Let us know in the comment section wherever you stream the show. We're going to be talking about those ideas coming up soon. Uh, uh, are you going to comment about what you think? Or we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. Okay. All right. So we've got even more inspiration for you coming up in today's trunk show. Lynn, can you give us a hand? We do. We have the Go... <laughs> And here's the hand friend. now. <laughs> here's the hand. Look okay, this. this is the Go Fractured Tumbler Oven Mitt by our good friend Jennifer Strausser. She's the Dizzy Quilter and she used Andover Fabrics. And I think this is darling. It is so, so cute. Great. It is so fun. It is so fun. Yeah. And it's lined. It's lined, yes. 
And I just think it's great. You know, we have these great project dyes like this. Yeah, yeah. It's, it is just fantastic. I do believe that the oven mitt belongs in every dye library. Yes, right? yeah, it does. It, yes. does. it just makes such fast and easy gifts for one thing, right. like not for your own Right, and house. oven mitts sometimes get like ooky, so mm -hmm. then you have to ooky. Ooky, that would be a technical term. Gotcha. Yeah. She would be smoking as a woman who had something kind of explode in her kitchen last night. Oh, oh she did. That she did. That explains it. Was a funny it. Story. Okay, next we have the Go Chambray Prism Wall Hanging by our good friend Ellen Alt of Handmade 3D. She is Robert Kaufman Fabrics, and we are all ooing and awing That's over this right. quilt. I love it because it's like a modern version of the old-fashioned trip around the world, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it's got those great chambray fabrics. And this love would those. be perfect for like a baby boy. You could make it mm -hmm. bigger for a teenage boy. I, it looks like denim and gray. It does look like oh. denim. It would be, you know, it's just kind of a, almost a neutral. Mm -hmm. um, and I love the quilting on it. It's got, you know, the fractured tumblers are very angular. And yeah. so this has got some nice swoops, but then the stars are such a nice addition. We'll let you talk too, and if you want to. Well, uh, I do like that the idea of this. You could easily you could easily grow it up the pattern, or right. you could reduce it down to a pillow size. Right. Uh, so yeah. there's lots of different possibilities, and you're just using the one the one shape really. Shape so a. right. This is just the shape A. So here's our pro tip: if you're just cutting shape A, is use a six by six mount. Yeah. Oh yes. yeah, yeah. That's a great that's right. great. Uh, Oh, and let's tip. take a look at the back, too, yes. because it matches. Ellen gets extra points for matching. Not only is it chambray, but it's chambray with stars to yes. match the quilting. Super cute. Yeah, so there's a theme. There, there is. There is a theme. Okay. All right. All right, next up, we have got the Go Rainbow Fractured Tumbler Wall Hanging by Marianne Fontana. She's Fontana Originals and used Timeless Treasures fabric for this. Yes. This is super fun. And this is now just the bees. So right. we had just the A's and just the B's. And what a great way to use your scraps. And, and I like the fact that it has gray instead of white. You know, it's a very modern look, but it mm -hmm. has gray instead of white. Well, and it's not actually solids. It's tone, they're all tone on tone prints. Not, but think about it as being like all different scrappy oranges. Right. All different scrappy reds. Right. That yeah. would really use up your scraps nicely. Yes, and again, this one could be sized up or sized down as well, depending on how many scraps you have, maybe, or um, <laughs> you know, if you if you want to use it for many, a different purpose. Many, 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 yeah. many. Really and again, cute. with the angular, you know, with all the the angles here, we she's done very curvy quilting on it. I love yeah. it, and she also gets extra points. She does. I, I give extra points for anyone that any quilter that automatically puts a sleeve on oh, their quilts yes. because then I'm just jealous. Yes. Exactly. All right, the last one is called the uh, Through the Fractured Glass Wall Hanging by our good friend Gina Jempasoff from Gem Hill Quilts. And she used Timeless Treasures. This is the pattern that's on the packaging. So Eric and I made a great video on how to cut and sew these different blocks together. Because you're going to notice some have A blocks and some have B blocks and some have a combination. Mm -hmm. And I think that Gina, one of the things that I really love about Gina and all the time she she always impresses me is how she just takes and creates bigger blocks and then just sections of blocks. Right, right? so we've got, she's added sashing here between these blocks with the cornerstones and it really defines the blocks and she's used both shapes, right? Yep. So the big blocks are with the A shapes, then yep. she's built blocks with the, the B shape, the smaller yep. shapes, and it all, her color placement gives us that great secondary design. And these blocks have A's and B's. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about that. And she also gets extra points for flange binding. Yes, it was yeah. a theme. Yeah, so we thought it was really important on the packaging to give you an example, inspire you with a pattern that uses both shapes. Right. So, but so many possibilities with this die. But again, we give our designers these, the die and say, happy day to you. Right. And look at what the cool stuff they come up with. Cool stuff they come up with. Yes, absolutely. Yes. I like Sometimes it a lot. we say go. Oh, <laughs> for the win. All right. All of these patterns. We should have gotten a butt up bump for that. Yeah. yeah. All of these patterns. There we go. All of these patterns are free, uh, available as free downloads from AccuQuilt's website. 
Be sure to download your patterns before your dye arrives so you'll be all ready to go. There we go. All right, Erica, what's your favorite? Well, my favorite is the chambray one. Okay. Yeah. Why? Well, I thought you were going to just ask me first. No. I, we thought we'd ask Erica just to see if it was different. <laughs> so, Lynn, which one is your favorite? Oh, so many. Um, I really think I love the last one, but I do love the oven mitt. I think oh, it's the oven fantastic. Oh, super cute. Yes. That's super okay. cute. Well, Lynn, since it is the last dye to try of 2023, would you like to give away our fabric today? Would I ever? All right. Okay. All right. Our right. friends at Fi uh, Figo have some fabric, and Lynn's okay. going to get the fabric, um, fabric mailbox. mailbox. And Super yes, I know I almost did. Pam called and asked yes. them how to pronounce their name because we have been saying Figo, and it is in fact Pam Figo. Figo. Our good friends at Figo. So okay. now we're doing now it look. correctly. <gasps> what is this? What is this? <laughs> to Pam and Eric and Lynn, Merry Christmas. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we're saying that. Santa gave us gifts. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are oh we going to open them? Can we open? I think we can. Canyon said okay. okay. All right. Okay. Well, this is unexpected. This is unexpected. <laughs> Look at how Should fun we do this it one is. at a time? I don't know how yeah. you do it at your oh house. My our goodness. House okay, Erica, you okay. Okay. already has hers open. What oh. did you get? I don't know, but I see Harry Potter. Oh my gosh. Oh, Harry Aww. Potter coasters, which I need new coasters. Santa, Santa, Santa knew knows. just what I needed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the Gibney can talk about what hers is. It's so, a book. It's, it's an anime. It's, it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, my favorite. Yes, it's awesome. Thank you so much. I love it. I love it. It's fabulous. Oh Can't my wait. gosh. And look at this. This is Cafe 80s. Do not open until 1985. Um, that's the year I was married, so we're going to open it now and see what's inside. Oh, I, I was going to oh, say, Fido. Now the fabric delivery has come. I honestly thought it was I thought fun. this was just it. And we were going to have to share it. Look. Oh, my gosh. Look at how fun this is. They are coasters, yes? What are they? Yes. They're like coasters. Oh, yes. But they, oh. Have, oh, they have words from the 80s. They're back to the they're back to the future. Back to the future because we play movie trivia yeah. before every show's rehearsal. Visit Hill Valley. And when in doubt, the answer is back to the future. future. Yes. Half <laughs> pepperoni, half. Thank you. Oh, so Santa and Canyon. Thank you so much. Canyon. Gosh. Love it. All right. We're so going to expect I'm just things set now. This in. I know. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to do it. Oh, they're okay, going to expect oh, things. Gosh, there's all sorts of things. Gosh. Well, now we've got fabric to give away. Oh, my gosh. This is. And see, this, this is our <gasps> dilemma every week, see? Lynn. Okay. Lynn is She's been very <laughs> cavalier about, well, I don't see what the problem is. You just give it away. And then you get your hands on it. Oh, Look at how pretty. So pretty. Yes, this is Figo Fabrics and it is stunning. Look at the back of this. Oh, it has partridges, pear trees. Yes. This one, oh, this is yeah, they're different. It does too. Okay. I think. They're a little bit different, maybe. Wow, yeah. I love this color. Okay, well we're gonna give it away. So All right. Lynn, do you want to announce the first winner? All right. And with jingle bells. Okay, so the first winner of a Figo, Figo. fabric selection is Okay, it's Joe E. of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Congratulations. And the second one of reflection fabric is Jingle Bells, please. Sherry B. of Salem, Oregon. Congratulations. Congratulations. You promised we're sending you one of the two. I know, I love it. And a huge thank you to not only Summer Santa and Mr. Kenyon, yes. but a huge thank you to Figo for sponsoring today's show and helping us make it great. I know you quilters are gonna love making projects with this gorgeous fabric. I know, I'm loving it. I oh. also send it out. She okay, does send early it out. in she the really show. Does, I promise. Hey, no. so I watch her. can we talk about this for 10 seconds, fabric? Um, I noticed a couple of you posted on social media that you hadn't received fabric, that you had won on a prize. And if you don't, just reach out to me on social media. We'll take care of you. There was somebody who hadn't gotten yeah. theirs back in April, and okay. it's in the mail today. Right. So, so when well, you win, the process is that you, Pam is going to send you an email. email, and then if she doesn't hear from you, she's going to send you another email. But at a certain point, 
I send you the final one. And what we right. do is we just want your um, your address, your mailing address, no POs, and a phone number so that I can ship it via FedEx. Right, because yep. that's the information we yeah. have to have. Okay, right. but earlier in the show, we asked what dye you wanted to pair it with. So let's start with us, our team. What, Erica, what would you pair it with? Yeah. Okay, I loved pairing it with the Focus Fabric. Oh, so just a so six inch So the square. six inch square is out of the 12 inch cube, okay. but something like this, look how cool that would be. Oh, here, be. Greg, I'll show it to you. Look, it's a big chicken. I think it's a chicken. I, I believe so. Or a peacock okay. or something. Some it's a big bird. bird. Yes. So and this would be perfect for it. Yes. Okay. What about you, Gibney? So I love, I think this is the game we're playing. I love the idea that you can you can pair it with the three inch tumbler. Oh um, yeah. Because yes. actually uh, we were just talking about that. And I yeah. think, wow, isn't that great? Because right. that is a dye that was, I think we introduced many, many years ago. Mm. And to bring that back out, I know I yeah. have mine at home and you know, yeah. it's exciting. Me yeah. too. Um, I would love to see it with the wonky heart. Mm. Because oh, wonky yeah. heart is also kind of that fractured look. It doesn't mm -hmm. really come together like, you know, um, and so I think it would be fun to do like Valentine fabrics and then make wonky hearts. Oh, yeah, I love yeah. it. It's a great idea. Okay. All right, okay. Lynn's gonna read some more. I'm All right. super excited about our Christmas presents. Okay, so first we have Karen M. Crossed Canoes. Which finishes to nine inches, but oh. it has that same look. It's got that it does. kind of look. Oh yeah, you put, there. So you'd put. There's the look. Three of those. Yes, three by three. Three by three. Oh yeah, that's a great one. idea. How about oh the tumbler? Joyce R said the tumbler and the four inch cube, like mm -hmm. we saw Barbara do. I'm I'm in with you. I yes. love it. Uh, Mill and stars, which is great. Yes, yeah. great suggestion. Art right, twelve inch cube. Oh uh, yes, good. very you good. Totally build twelve inch blocks. Yes. Uh, twelve inch blocks. Oh, and use as a as a border mm. yes oh that's like a great idea. that's cami s and i totally agree with you it's a cool border yeah. all right so uh we have uh kim m we've got the owl block and the northwoods medley oh, oh right yeah. and you could yeah. add it as a border as well yeah that's a great idea okay um ohio star Ooh, which is oh super cool. yeah. yeah i'm gonna go okay. with that oh and then um Dan Rubin C said Wonky Heart and the Crazy Cool. Yeah, yeah those were both great. Yeah, those are good mm -hmm. ones. And then uh, Julie K, another great idea, um, cut down the log cabin. Oh, because, Julie. Yeah, you can with the log cabin that make is. You can so make many it. sizes of finished So remember, block log that. cabin, you don't have to make 12 inch blocks. Right. You can make six or seven or eight. Right. I oh, like Jeannie, you've got me. You said Starry Path or the Spider Web. Those are great right. ideas. Oh, the spider web. Spider web is super Lots fun. Lots of ideas in my head. Yep. Yes, and I was I was like actually the, our last uh, from Sandy our uh, signature circle. So that's a that's a brand new die we just launched not that long ago. Right. And that's a that's a great one too. That is very geometric. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. These are such great ideas. I need to go write them all down, or I'll just take <laughs> this with me. But uh, before I head off, I've got an exciting announcement. Drum okay. Please, or something. There we go. <laughs> all jingle bells all the yeah, time. Yeah, we can't, we can't have too much of that. Yeah. Uh, we've decided to continue our dietary program through 2024. Yay. So uh, as I am walking uh, and wishing you a great rest of the show, uh, tune in on January 2nd. That'll yeah, be our first Tuesday right. of next year. All right, looking right. forward to it. Thanks, and, I, and I will be taking this with me. Taking all the stuff. <laughs> All right, quilters, we have some great ideas up our quilting sleeves, so make sure you mark your calendar for the first Tuesday of every month in your new 2024 calendar to see them all. That's right. Uh, we have some really great ones. Eric we and do. I know a couple. We do. We know some things. We do. So today, because you may not know this, but things don't just magically appear here in the Dream Studio. Sometimes people think. We have to work ahead of time. We do. We today do. is the first Tuesday of December, because we have our die to try, yes. but it also means that it's time to choose November's winner from our 2023 Covering the World One Quilt at a Time campaign. 
Through the second half of 2023, we partnered with Island Boutique, who's one of our sponsors, and Baby Lock, which is another sponsor. Each week, someone from Island Boutique or AccuQuilt, ha, um, the team has been making a quilt and donating it to the charity of their choice. Now, once you've made a quilt, donate it to whatever charity you would like, post a public photo of it with the name of the charity, and use the hashtag QuiltTheWorld2023. Post that on social media or post it on our Covering the World One Quilt at a Time Facebook group. You want to do that by December 31st. Yep. All right, you can make as many quilts as you want to donate. And following these steps means you're entered into the monthly prize drawing as well as a grand prize drawing that will occur January 1st, 2024. What a great way to start the year. It is, and then we're going to announce it on January 2nd with the first die to try for 2024. We have seen a lot of wonderful donations. So and we had 29 new ones added in the month oh, of that's November. Oh, amazing. Good Courtney, job, just Quilter. let me know. Thank you, Courtney, for so letting us know. It's time to announce the November Quilt the World campaign winner. She, this winner is going to get Island Boutique Fat Quarters and AccuQuilt reward points valued at a combined total of $250. Jingle bells, please. <laughs> It is Sherry Gray from Graham, North Carolina. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, Sherry, you're gonna be so excited. Okay, can we see her quilt? Oh, look at how oh, cute how that is. That is super cute. I love the bright colors. Do we know where too. she donated it to? Uh, we, we do not. not. Okay, good job, Sherry. But I do know that the top, uh, the top recipient for the month was Project Linus. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's a great one. All right, so here's the thing. Pam and I are getting in on the fun as well, although we promise that we aren't eligible to get any of the prizes. Lynn made that abundantly clear. Oh, apparently so. Together, we're making a quilt for Love Antonio. It's a local nonprofit here in Omaha sharing quilts and comfort with young patients at Children's Nebraska. And uh, both Eric and I donated quilts last year for Quilt World mm -hmm. to um, Love Antonio. Now, I signed us up. <laughs> and said, hey, Erica, we should do that. What we ended up, I, we're just so busy, we couldn't each make one. Right. So here's what we did. Right. Uh, we have the same fabric, and each of us made eight 10-inch finished blocks. So um, we haven't talked about what dye we right. used. We haven't talked about right. anything until now. Right. And so you ready? Okay. You have big reveal. Gotta, do you have yours, gotta, Erica? I have mine over here, but I have to get them out of the bag I'm with the super fabric. Super excited to see what I Erica know. We don't know. Up. Really, we. I know it's hard to realize for the team, but we didn't talk. Okay. Well, we didn't talk about this. Okay, you ready? You ready? Yes. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. Oh, so did you do all crazy quilt blocks? I did all crazy quilt blocks. Okay, so I did mix and match, different mix and match blocks, and I did like in twos. So. There we go. Look at this. There we go. Yeah. How fun is that? This I is thought this super was really fun, fun springy fabric. Here, throw this one over there. Now, yeah. maybe okay, this here, one. Here, I can do it. Oh, here's a different one too. Okay. Oh, here's the other there. block. Okay. So look at that. All right. I like this a oh, lot. Oh, this is really fun. Okay, and it's super fun. And it's nice and springy for spring. That's right. All right. Down. I was anxious to see. I was I hoping. Know, I, I know. thought, I wonder if Erica will use the Go Big Crazy quilt. And oh. I didn't know if you were using the cube or a bob. So oh, no. here we are. One of us used a bob, one of us used the cube. And these are 10 inch blocks, so we can do this math. We can put this math together, that's right. All right, our next step is gonna be deciding on a layout, putting our top together. Stay tuned to social media using the hashtag QuiltTheWorld2023. Watch on the Facebook group. We'll post pictures of our progress. Oh, that'll be great. Sashing or non no sashing? That's the first question we have. I don't think sashing. I don't think so. I think I, think I, think I like how it- make them. Okay, look at this, I feel like. So quilters, this is a great idea. So maybe you um, don't have time to make one all by yourself. Right. Maybe get you a couple of friends and everybody make eight blocks. It didn't right. take me but an afternoon to make no, eight blocks. No, no, it didn't me either. It was great. It's really fun. All right, quilters, we have tons of great deals available for you on our website. That's right, we sure do. To get your order in, open a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party. It'll take you to the site. You can see the offers. You can place your order. Okay, it is time for us to go home and cut and sew t fractured tumbler blocks. Absolutely. Because I am so inspired by what our 
experts came up with. Uh, we hope that today's show is just what you needed to inspire you for your next project. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching our show. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and look for live events every Tuesday and Wednesday. You can visit the events page on AccuQuilt's website for more details on upcoming shows. And while you're there, check out the blog for tips, tricks, tutorials, and inspiration galore. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. We have tons of fun. Tomorrow, we're gonna make a project from today's trunk show. Tune in to see if you've won a prize that we give away during the show. And join us every Tuesday at 12 noon Central Time for launch parties and trunk shows. These events are filled with tips, tricks, and inspiration. Next time, we'll be relaunching a great die. We hope to see you there.